Good evening, guys. Welcome back. My name is Lynn. If you're new here, my name is Lynn. And welcome to my channel for the love of scents. So if you love fragrances, perfumes, or anything that smells good, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified of future videos. And to all my returning subscribers, thank you so much for watching. So today I'm going to show you my Narciso Rodriguez collection. So I have... Um, six in the for her line and eight in the cube line so i have a total of 14. so hopefully this will not be a very long video i'll try to make it short and um, cut it about up to 20 minutes so let's start right away so narciso rodriguez is an american fashion designer and um she uh, he has a cuban ancestry and he started his fashion collection in 1997, but he released his first perfume in 2003. And he has a total of 56 perfumes in his uh, fragrance base. So let's start with the, um, for her. So it comes with this um, bottle, like this is the 100 ml, and this is the 50 ml. So let's start with her first, uh, Perfume, which is Narciso Rodriguez for her EBT. This is the UV Twilight collection. This was launched in 2003. And perfumer is Christy Nag Nagel and uh, Francis Kirk John. So, uh, top, top notes orange blossom, osmanthus, and bergamot. Mid notes are musk and amber. Base notes are vanilla, vetiver, and patchouli. So, this is also the winner of two awards and this is basically on my nose it's uh, orange blossom mass and vanilla it is very prominent in orange blossom maybe that's the reason i like this because i love orange blossom so much and this has a very strong silage and it lasts five to six hours of my skin this is a uh, fresh clean uh, musky and soapy uh, perfume and for me this is an all season and I will rank all my Narcissa from 0 to 10 and for me this is a 9 out of 10 this is one of my favorite in the Narciso line so for me this is 9 out of 10 and then the the next one is the, the for her EDT, EDP, so this is the UD Twilight, was launched the next year in 2004. Same perfumer, uh, Christy Nagel and Princess Kirk Jack. This time the top notes are rose and peach. And the uh, mid notes are the same, musk and amber. And the uh, base notes are patchouli and amber. So... If the EDT is sweeter, this is sharper. The rose is very sharp in here. The rose and the peach. And it's also musky. There's not much sweetness. The EDT is the sweeter one. This is no sweetness. It's very dry and sharp. And aggressive. And this is also a strong, a moderate to strong silage and last five to six hours in my skin this has a vintage vibe so i prepared the edt the black bottle than the edp so i would rate this as eight out of ten now the third one um is the narciso el absolu so this time the perfumer is different this is Aurian good chart and this was launched in 2015 the top notes uh, are tuberose and jasmine mid notes uh, is musk and base notes patchouli musk and uh, amber and sandalwood this is my favorite this is one of my top five scents top five perfume of all time this is so sexy intoxicating darker exotic all the good adjectives that you can find in a perfume everything i want in a perfume is here 
This is powdery, musky, floral perfume. This is very seductive. And this is actually the EDT is also seductive and sexy, but this is more. I love, love this perfume. The combination of the tuberose, the jasmine, and the musk plus amber is to die for. And the performance is also good. It's a very, very strong sillage. And longevity is about five to six hours. I always get compliments wearing this. Compliments after compliments. And I would rate this as 9.5 out of 10. So this is already discontinued. I already have one backup bottle. And whenever I see um, in marketplace or another discounter, I will still buy this. I can have 10 to 20 backups for this and I'm so good because this is discontinued. So this is my uh, my number one, uh, 9.5 out of 10, Narciso. Then I have the floor mask. So I only have the travel spray. I can buy the the bottle, full bottle, but I I chose not to because um, for me it's not worth it for me because I don't like this that much. So. Fleur Mass for her was launched in 2017. The perfumer is Kalis Becker and uh, Sonia Constant, a very uh, well-known perfumer too. Um, top notes, pink pepper, base notes, rose, musk, and peony. And base notes, uh, patchouli, violet, and amber. So this is a very uh, spicy and musky rose. So the pepper gives it the spiciness. Of course, the musk is there and the rose. So all Narcissus are musky uh, scent, right? All of, all of the perfumes here, they're all musky because Narcissus is uh, well known for a musky uh, fragrance. So this is lighter than the first three. The reason why I don't like this much is because it's very light compared to the other Narciso. And... This is considered as a summer fragrance because it is light and airy. And not, this is not too musky as the first three. So compared to the other Narciso, this is not too musky. And I would rate this as 7.5 over, uh, over 10. So this is mostly uh, spicy, musky, rose, and peony. And lighter than the first three. Floor mask. Then I had the uh, Pure Mask. So this comes with a white bottle. So Pure Mask was launched in 2019. Perfumer is Con Sonia Constant. Top notes is mask, mid notes flowers, base notes uh, is cashmere. So this is just plain mask with very light florals. Light florals with the um, mask. And it has moderate projection. Longevity is about three to four hours. This doesn't last too much. And usually you use this to lay your other set. So if you want to lay your like a very sweet perfume, you want something, some, some, you want to give it some musky undertones or to make it a little bit uh, uh, complex, then you layer it with a pure mask. But you can still use this on its own. And there is a very simple, clean, clean, light, fresh, musky scent. And I would rate this as 8 out of 10. And the last of the, for her, is the Narciso for her Mas Noir. So this was launched last year, only in 2021. Perfumer is Sonia Constant. Top notes is Plum. Mid notes must and heliotrope, and base notes are suede. Uh, base note is suede. So this has moderate projection, longevity of five to six hours. So for me, it smells good in a paper. The plum and the mask, the combination of the plum and the mask is so good, especially in the paper. But then when I spray it on my skin, I think the suede, the suede note, the base turns animalic on my skin. 
it smells like a um it smells like um like a, I don't want to offend anybody it smells like a, a curry or a bo on my skin so i know that but the paper i don't smell it it's only on my skin so i think it's my skin chemistry but the top notes is so good it's only in the dry down on my skin that i smell that animalic suede but but i will still check it out um i have used i still have a lot i think i use only twice and i will keep using this maybe it will change but for now my skin doesn't agree with this and i i don't have the other one the the rose the rose one that was launched this year it's so hard to find and i couldn't find it um i keep on looking but so far i don't have it i only have this mas noir okay so we're now we're done with the fourth uh, with the six for her now we go to the cube so the cube is like this and i have eight of them in my collection and let's start with the uh, UD perfume so this is the narciso pdp and this is considered a floral woody mass fragrance and was launched in 2014 so this is also discontinued so once I found out it's discontinued, I am looking for a backup. Uh, the top notes are gardenia and white moss. Uh, sorry, white rose. Mid notes moss. Base notes white cedar as, as, uh, and vetiver. White cedar ex extract, cedar, and vetiver. This has moderate projection and also longevity is about 5 to 6 hours. So this is a uh, musky gardenia with a uh, woody under uh, woody dry down. So where is the EDP? So this this love for me is a very creamy and powdery, creamy and powdery gardenia with a musky undertone so when i smell it i i remember the pudre it's very similar to pudre which is also one of my loves with uh, some sweetness so the pudre is more powdery less sweet and this is less powdery and sweeter than the pudre but they are very similar and uh and the projection is also good longevity five to six hours i would rate this as nine out of ten this is all good i will also buy another backup for this because it's discontinued so the the black bottle is the edt so in the in this one i like the edt better than this but in the cube one, I like the EDP better than the EDT. Why? Because the EDT is a plural woody mass, also 2015, and it's also discontinued. Um, the top notes is rose and peony, base notes mass, and uh, mid notes mass, base notes are white cedar, cedar, and vetiver. So it's similar to the EDP except the top notes is different so this has bulgarian rose and peony so this is a peony perfume peony mass and uh, and woody dry down this is not too musky as the edp it's very light compared to the edp so this is less musky less powdery more Peony, more florals than the EDP. It is moderate projection and lasts five to six hours. This is also good. Actually, guys, all the narcissists are a like, either like or a love for me. You, you cannot go wrong with narcissists. So if you love mass, 
I would rate this as 8.5 out of 10. This is very, uh, this is also a strong light. I love it. I really like it. Sorry, I really like it. That's the EDT. Now we go to my favorite, the Pudre. Actually, my number one is the uh, For Her Absolute and this one, the Pudre. They're both 9.5 for me. So the Pudre was launched in 2016. was launched in 2016 and the perfumer is the same as the perfumer of the L Absolute is Aurelian Guichard. Top notes is Jasmine, Rose, and Orange Blossom. Base notes must, sorry, mid notes must. Base notes are uh, coumarin, cedar, vetiver, and patchouli. So this is a, a very powdery, musky perfume. There's no hints of patchouli. I cannot detect any patchouli. This exactly smells like a baby powder with some florals. Maybe because of the orange blossom. Orange blossom with a lot of uh, powdery scents and very musky. This is so sexy too. This is so sexy intoxicating perfume same as the l absolute so the l absolute is tuberose with a lot of powder and mass while this is an orange blossom with a lot of powder and mass this is a 9.5 out of 10. so you imagine the johnson's baby powder you mix it with some florals and a little bit of sweetness and that's the pudre this is also very uh, long lasting, five to six hours. The projection is loud. I love, love, love this perfume. The L Absolute and this one, my number one. My number two is the EDP Narcissum and the EDP The Cube. So this is 9.5 out of 10. Then the Narcissus Rouge. So if the cup, is uh, transparent it's an edt formulation if the cup is a solid color it's an edp uv perfum concentration so i only have the 5 ml of the narcissa rouge uv perfum and this was launched in 2018 and the perfumer is sonia sonia constant top notes iris and rose mid notes uh mass tuberose and orange blossom Base notes, tonka bean, vanilla, zedar, sandalwood, and vetiver. So this, this uh, more complex note compared to the other Narciso uh, because it is has more notes. Um, these are more, uh, a lot of uh, florals in the opening. It's spicy in the opening, but then disappear after a few minutes. Spicy probably because of the iris and the rose, a so combination of the iris and the rose. But then it disappear after a few minutes. And it is also less musky compared to other Narciso. Less musky, that's why it's, it's um, comparable to Pleur Mas. Yeah, remember I said Pleur Mas also a spicy rose? This is also that same spicy rose. They are similar. That's why when I smelled this, I, I was thinking it smells similar to another perfume. And then I realized it's, it smells like the Fleur Mas. Some moderate projection lasts about um, five to six hours as well. Yeah, so I, I would rate this as 8 out of 10. So this is the UD Perfume. I have the UD Toilet in an 80 ml. So it's a big bottle with a transparent cup. So you, the UD Toilet has different notes. 
The perfumer is the same perfumer, Sonia Constant. And the top notes here is Lily of the Valley with notes moss and base notes uh, Tonka Bean Cedar and Vetiver. So this is more of a Lily of the Valley perfume, a musky Lily of the Valley. With a woody dry down. This is more powdery and musky than the EDP. The UD Toilet is more powdery and musky than the UD Parfum. And the projection is moderate. Longevity is about 5 to 6 hours. I prefer this better than the EDP because it's more powdery and musky. So this, I will rate this as 8.5 out of 10. This is also good. Now we go to the Narciso Ambre. So peach in color. This is the uniform foam because it has the solid uh, cap. And this is considered as an amber floral. was launched in 2020. And the perfumer is the same perfumer as... Uh, the El Absolute and the Pudre. It's Aurelian Richard. The top notes, Frangipani, Ilang Ilang, and White Flowers. Mid notes, Moss and Amber. Base note, Kashmir and Vetiver and Cedar. So this is a combination of a white and yellow flower, right? The Ilang Ilang and the White Florals with the Moss and the Amber. But I can smell more yellow flowers than white flowers here. It's more tropical. This is the tropical Narciso. And also not as musky and powdery. So the amount of musk and powdery is the same as Pleur Musk and the Rouge Beauty Perfume. It's not too powdery, not too musky, and more yellow floral. So it's more tropical, more summer scent. Moderate projection, it still lasts five to six hours. So Ilang Ilang is prominent in this perfume. It's a musky Ilang Ilang. So the I would rate this as 8.5 out of 10. This is also good. Good for summer especially. Then I have the Narciso Ambre Neroli EDT. So this is the EDT formulation of the Ambre. It was launched in um, last year, 2021. And top notes, of course, there is Neroli and Panjipani. Mid notes, Moss and Orange Blossom. Base notes, Amber, Kashmir, and Cedar. So this is basically Ambre with Neroli. And the role is very prominent, especially in the top. So for me, I can describe this as neroli plus plus yellow flowers plus mass with a woody dry down. This is more uh, summer and tropical than the UD perfume because of the added citruses, because of the added neroli. This is a citrusy, musky, yellow, floral perfume. And there is some sweetness and sharpness from the Neroli. I like this better than the Ambre because this is lighter and brighter. And I love Neroli notes. So I would, uh, projection is moderate. Longevity is also 5 to 6 hours. I would rate this as 9 out of 10. It's good. Then the last one is the Narciso Crystal. So this is UD Foam because it has the solid cup, but it has the transparent body. So you can see the juice. It's like pinkish in color. So the Narciso Crystal is a floral woody mask. was launched this year, early this year, 2022. Perfumer is na Natalie Gracia Ghetto. And that notes is freesia, are freesia orange blossom and bergamot. Mid notes, musk, white florals, rose and jasmine. Uh, base notes, cashmere and cedar, amber and benzoin. 
So this is the most complex of all the nurses. So why? Because this is the one that has a lot of notes compared to the other nurses. So, but basically they're all florals from the top to the mid. They're all florals, combination of florals with a dry down or cedar amber and benzoin so benzoin gives it a little sweetness it's not too musky this is also not too musky not too musky not too powdery and this is the lightest this is the lightest of all the nurses so it's even lighter than the pure musk yeah and moderate projection light to moderate projection and longevity is less four hours only so you need to respray this a lot so this is the weakest or the lightest of all nurses so weaker than pure mass and weaker than floor mass it's the least musky and it's the least powdery so this is also my least favorite i would rank this a 7.5 out of 10 so that's it for now guys um thank you so much for watching i'm planning to do it in 20 minutes but we're on 26 minutes now so um there are 14 perfumes my all all love for me and if you have any of the nurses so which ones are your favorite and are you also like me you love powdery and musky scent and please comment down below um if you agree with my uh with my thoughts and with my reviews and thank you so much guys for watching and i'll see you on my next video bye bye